And I had been told what a great movie Night of the Living Dead was. And I said, well, I'll go see it. So I went to see it. And I was very taken with it because almost everything about it is attractive. I mean, the politics of it were striking at the time to have a black lead. And that's not commented on the fact that he's black. Uh, also to kill him. <laughs> you know, the, the, uh, the clear anti communist hysteria that's running through that film, all the stuff about guns and hunters and gun control, the dynamics of the family. And there was so much going on in the movie that it wasn't your typical horror film. Um, the black and white photography, the, the, the handheld jerkiness of a lot of the shots. The, uh, the, it's one of those movies where the circumstances under which it was filmed helped it. Um, it helped even the bad, like, news guy and stuff, it helped the reality of it. At the time, the thing that struck me, there were some shots that are very clumsy, um, artless, but in fact make them more powerful, which is people chewing on like pieces of meat or livers or something. And it was just, you didn't see that stuff in movies in the, in the, in, at that time, or at least I hadn't seen it up to that point. I also was greatly encouraged by it because it was a regional film. It was made by a bunch of guys in, you know, Pennsylvania. And I was thinking, gee, that's kind of neat. And uh, my first film, Schlock, which I made in L.A. for 60,000 bucks, I was encouraged because I said, well, if they can do it, you know, I mean, guys, let's put on a show like Judy and Mickey, you know, get the money together. But the movie really struck me mainly because I thought it was really scary. And even now, I think there's power in it. There's, there's scenes that are just so uh, cleverly, I mean, I'm, I don't know if it's designed or happenstance, but for instance, the, the, the father of the family, you know, they have the... The fact that he's such a jerk, he's right, by the way. I mean, at the end of the movie, you realize he was right. He was right, <laughs> you know. And the image of the daughter eating the mother, you know, it's like, ah! I mean, there's, they're just stuff in that picture. To have the lead, similar to the way Hitchcock killed off Janet Lee, I think even bolder is to have your lead go catatonic. Um, I mean, there's just a very, it's a movie that surprised and kept surprising.